Hello, today we're going to look at standard circuit diagram symbols. But before we do that, let's take a look at a real circuit. Here we've got some different components that are all connected to a power pack. Now you can imagine that if we try to draw that in a diagram, it might be quite complicated unless we had diagram or circuit diagram symbols. And these are six on one particular circuit as just an example. But we need to know about 15 of them and we can go through those now. So the first one here is called an open switch. No current flows through an open switch because the circuit is broken. This is a closed switch that allows current to flow because there is no break in the circuit. The next one is in everyday language, we might call this a battery. But actual, in actual fact, when we have only one, we call that a cell. It's when we have many together that we actually call those a battery. So it's a battery of cells when we have two or more of the, of the cells joined together. And that's drawn like that. Notice the plus sign on the longer side of the cell. Okay, so that's our battery. Uh, the next symbol we're going to look at is an ammeter. This is an ammeter, a circle with an A, and it measures current through a circuit. The next one we have is a voltmeter. So a voltmeter is similar, only that it has a V in it, and that measures potential difference or voltage. We will tend to use the words potential difference. This is a lamp that gives off light, quite straightforward, often a filament lamp. And here is what we call a fixed resistor. A resistor will reduce current in a circuit, and if it has a fixed value, we draw it like this. What we have next is a fuse. So this is like a weak point in a circuit. You often see these in a three-pin plug, but it's designed to break if a current gets too high, supplying a circuit. What we have next is a thermistor. So this is like a temperature sensor and its resistance changes depending on the temperature. So in this case, if we have a high if we have a high temperature, we have a low resistance. So it acts like a temperature sensor and also like a switch in a circuit. We'll look at those more in the future. This is what's called a light dependent resistor. So this is like a light sensor. And this can be used in circuits as well to detect light and switch on circuits or switch circuits on and off depending on what those circuits do. And here we have a variable resistor. So our fixed resistor has a fixed value, but this resistor can change in value. If you have dimmer switches at home, that's likely to be a variable resistor changing the brightness of your light by changing the current. This one over here is an LED, otherwise known as a light emitting diode, but you can use LED to describe that one. You can see the arrow is pointing outwards, so that's giving out light. So that's how you can tell the difference between that, or one of the differences between that and the LDR. The final one at the bottom there, that's a diode. And that only allows current to flow in one direction in a circuit. Okay, so pause here, have a go at just uh, remembering those, and then we can do a little test. I'm gonna show you random ones of these on the screen, and then see if you can spend a second or two figuring out which ones they are. Pause if you need to, but if not, I'm just going to let this run and say no more until the end of the video.
Okay, so there we have it. The circuit symbols you need to know and remember. So you need you might need to go over this one or two more times, but if not, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.